Uh, joining us now uh, by phone um, is the actor director Henry Winkler. Uh, who was there playing Fonzie on Happy Days when Robin Williams' career uh, exploded on screen in 1978 in that amazing debut. Uh, Henry, Win Henry Winkler, thank you, thank you so much for taking time with us on this tough night. I really appreciate you calling in. Thanks, Rachel. Uh, First to, of all, yeah. can I just say Please. that the entire Winkler family, all of our thoughts are with the Williams family. Can I ask you about how you uh, first met him and, and your first impressions when you first encountered him as a, then a, a not at all famous performer? We had a script uh, about an alien, Mork for Mork. Uh, Gary Marshall, I believe that his son, uh, his young son said, hey, Dad, uh, wouldn't it be funny if Fonzie met an alien? So they wrote this script, and they couldn't find the right actor to play him. Now, we rehearsed Monday uh, from 10 o'clock in the morning until Friday, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and then we shot the show Friday night, 7 o'clock. Wednesday, we still didn't have an actor. Wow. Wednesday afternoon, Bobby Hoffman, who was the casting director, brought a young actor, first time, usually did stand up, uh, to the set to start rehearsal. And I'm telling you, Rachel, no hyperbole. You knew you were in the presence of somebody very special, of some of greatness. And, you know, the, some, somebody uh, said earlier in the show uh, that he had chutzpah. And it was not chutzpah. It was not nerve. He needed, it was his soul, it was the way he was put on the earth. You said something to him, he sucked it in, and he blew it out, and it came out so with originality and so powerfully and so funny that you, you, your jaw dropped. What was he like uh, privately? I mean, was that, in, in terms of that, you're saying that's sort of part of his, his, his soul, sort of who he was as a person, not just as a character. What yes, was it uh, like interacting needed, with him when the cameras were it, off? It, 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 was just the, it was just Robin the being. Yeah. And how he was off the set, he was, um, he, he was uh, boundlessly energy, filled with energy. Uh, he never stopped working. He would go to the clubs at night uh, and do his act and work on his act. He would act all day and do the, um, the, the show with us, or then eventually his own show. And then he, we saw that he was limitless, that he could do great drama. He could do drama with comedy. He could do comedy. Uh, it, it, it was, it was, he was a miracle. I, and I, I'm not kidding. I mean, it, it, it took your breath away. And how was he in when he was just talking to you? He was as quiet and as gentle mm. as um, as the breeze. Uh, you, uh, no matter when you saw him, no matter how long it was in between the times you saw him, you were first met with a hug. He talked to you like you were the only human being in the world at the moment. Henry Winkler, actor and director, uh, longtime friend of Robin Williams. I know this is a, a very tough night for everybody uh, who was friends with him. Thank you for, for talking to us about it. I really appreciate it, Henry. Thank Thanks you. for asking. Thank you. Robin Williams, again, uh, the shocking news today, dead of an apparent suicide, according to the Sheriff's Office in Marin County uh, at his home in Northern California at the age of 63. All right, there's a lot of other big news tonight. We're going to be right back. Stay with us.